Greetings and welcome back to your daily minute for our new normal mini series. I have a question for you. What have you been doing with all the extra time on your hands? Would you believe that I've actually seen people complaining on social media that they have too much time on their hands now and they don't know what to do with themselves? Sure, uh, choice would be to binge watch all the old TV shows from back in the day and sign up for all the streaming services and, and get all that stuff that people have been talking about. That's an option. If you don't want to go that route, I have three suggestions for you to promote a more beneficial, healthier, and serving practice in your daily life. So tip number one, go for a walk outside. I know, practice social distancing. And you know what? I have yet to hear a government official telling people not to go for a walk outside. Maybe they're not, uh, they're strongly advising against, you know, a pickup game of basketball where you're sweating on top of each other or full on contact football at the park, all right, where it's you and a whole bunch of guys and people in the stands and things like that, right? But you yourself going for a walk around the block? I think you can manage that, socially distancing and being mindful of those around you. I think, I think you can handle that one. Going for a walk by yourself around the block, maybe even going for a walk yeah, 10 times around the block to get your daily exercise. Tip number two, how about some daily meditation? Great way to reduce stress and anxiety and promote relaxation, calmness, and overall sense of peace in your life. How about that? Now, if you're someone saying, oh, I can't possibly sit still for 10 minutes or even five minutes at a time, well, why don't you combine one and two and do a moving meditation? Sounds exactly as it is. You move while you meditate. So this would be you walking around a block or maybe you walking through the woods or at your park, okay? And you're practicing mindful, deep breathing while you're walking. Easy peasy. Anybody can do it. Tip number three. Put down your phone. Practice social distancing from your electronic device. Maybe not now. Wait another minute until this video is over. But after this video is over, socially distance yourself from your phone. If you're advanced, you might even want to combine one, two, and three by doing a moving meditation, a walk, deep breathing around your block while leaving your phone at home. Good stuff. Good stuff. I guarantee you can do it. Let me know in the comments below what it is that you're doing with all of your free time. And if you have any questions about a moving meditation or a way to socially distance yourself from your phone, let me know in the comments below. Thanks and be excellent.